Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I and my wife are going to show you how to make, and I kid you not, the nicest Lebanese pastries. What are they called? Fatayir. Fatayir. If I said that right for my Arab watchers, Arabic speaking people, Fatayir. Can I say it right? Come on! Anyways, guys, so without further ado, I need you all to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get straight into making these amazing snacks. Before that pizza was nice, I'm telling you, don't be a fat boy because we're not about a fat life anymore. It's about being clean. So make sure you make this on a cheap day. Ask your wife, not your girlfriend, your wife, I'm joking. Just ask your missus to make it. And um, yeah, let's get straight into it. First thing that we made was the dough, okay? I'm not gonna lie, my wife done it all, yeah, guys. She, she Make sure she gets all the credit for this video. But basically, do you wanna tell them how you made this dough? Yeah, all you do is just um, put some... She doesn't know. <laughs> how did you make what it? What do you mean? I don't know. Why are you under pressure? Go I'm on. trying to think of the words in English, Ajma. Anyway, right. you add some yeast um, to lukewarm water mm. and then you add some sugar to it. But only like a t one teaspoon or Wait, two yeah, teaspoons sugar. max. Yeah. No way. And out. then you add um, one teaspoon of salt and roughly three to four cups of flour. Depends on how much you make and a little bit of oh, so, olive oil it's so nice and soft i know and then you let the dough sit for like an hour two hours and wow. then basically what we did it did is create these little I soft it feels so good dough balls look how soft these are anyways um make sure your hands Come are clean on. so that's basically how you make the dough as she explained and now moving on to the main ingredient which is the filling and it's basically minced meat so let's go what i did is um shred some onions and shred some carrots yep. and here you have the mince meat show them the mince meat guys make sure the mince meat is like a quite a lean one mm. so that's like about 10 percent, i think 10 percent fat and these are all the spices that we're going to be using salt and pepper to taste some garlic paste chili powder cumin thyme Ground paprika cumin. and oregano the first thing we're going to do is cook the mince meat Let's go. like not all the way through, I'd say like almost. Onto the minced meat, let's go. All right, tell me, we're gonna use the olive oil spray. Yep. Maybe this Tesco olive oil spray, which definitely doesn't have any alcohol. Anyway, so turn on the heater. Heater, you know. <laughs> the flipping, what is it called? Stove. The stove flipping out. How much heat do we want it on? Full heat. All right, guys. First thing that goes in is the minced meat, all of it, yeah. <laughs> Boom! And it's dropped everywhere. I just turn the heat down. Make sure you break it up, guys. Make sure you don't make a mess like I just did. Alright uh, guys, my wife took over because she's saying I don't know what I'm doing, so I think she's sick. So basically, make it all into tiny little bits. Basically make it mint. <laughs> Turn the heat down, because obviously you don't want it to burn. It's become nice and, I don't know, what's the word, broken up? Looks a bit bland now because there's no spices. There's literally no spices in there right now, but it's getting there. We leave this to cook until it's like, what, fully brown, like yeah. that colour. We're adding in... The shredded onions. All of it? Mm -hmm. All of it? Are you sure? I was a bit hesitant there. I said, no, I'm sure we have not all of it in. And to shred it cut. Make sure you mix it all up nicely, guys. Oh, it smells banging. It's the onions in it. That's like... I'm sure everyone knows this, but onions is a game changer when it comes to smell of food. All right, guys, make sure once the onions and the carrots have melted, sort of, chuck in one cube of chicken broth. Mm. And, and then you can add your seasoning. One teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of dried thyme, two tablespoons of paprika. Wow, that's a quite a lot of paprika. Is that not two tablespoons? I'm talking baronet. Guys, you just gave me an evil look saying don't talk too much. Alright, what's that? Two tablespoons of cumin. Guys, comment if she's putting too much. <laughs> two tablespoons. Is that two ta To be fair, a tablespoon is pretty big, innit? I'm thinking teaspoon. One tablespoon of chili powder. Yep. Now that was accurate. That one I agree with. 
What do you want from me? <laughs> God. I just don't want it to go mad flavoured. Well, at least you know the missus. I'm not the only person least... that complains about too much flavour for your information, yeah. guys. One tablespoon, a no, teaspoon of mince garlic. And then. It smells good though. Some salt and pepper. Also, how much salt and pepper? Like just, like just kind of like you I'm know. I'm gonna put too much because. Yeah, yeah that's not. so that's like half a teaspoon of salt. Mix it all up. Oh my days, steamed up. So good. All right, guys. Once you've thoroughly mixed it all, basically turn the heat down all the way, pretty much. And let it simmer for about five minutes until the liquid starts to dry up a little bit. You see, there's still some liquid there. I don't know how 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 much should you let should you let the liquid uh, evaporate? Yeah, but then it's gonna get dry. No, because we put it in the pastries, and if it's gonna be too liquidy, the paste the dough is gonna be too gooey. Very smart point, wife. Well done. These are some I made earlier. I'm joking, my wife done it. But basically, look, there's two different ways of doing it. You can do an open one. That looks a bit messy though, because I created it. This one my wife done looks a lot more neater. But this is a closed one, and obviously it's an open one, and I put some cheese in that one as well. Just where your mince meat what cooked. Do you mean it looks messy, it doesn't. That one looks a little bit messy. No, it looks better. But yeah. Anyways, and then these are basically test runs. And also, over it, you can get egg yolk, and just kind of wipe it. Do an egg wash. Definitely. Whatever the hell it's called. An egg wash over it, and it gives it a nice little color. Okay, guys, look, the filling is ready. Time to create the little pastries, and we're gonna show you three different ways of creating them, so um, you can just decide which one you prefer. So each of your pastries, guys, you need to roll them out into nice little circles that are about 10 centimeters wide. <clear throat> this one we're making, which one is this one? This one is a... Do a closed one with, with cheese. Minced and cheese, yeah. All right, so you chuck in about, so 10 centimeter wide pastries, make sure they're thin, uh, About put about two tablespoons of the filling, and a pinch of grated mozzarella cheese and basically you do this fold it over squeeze it shut and then you do this little spinny thing and then you can just spin them around like this to make it look cute there you go and then all they need is an egg wash and you're good to go Alright guys, next we're going to make the, what's it called again? Egg wash. The freaking egg wash. So you're going to need some milk. Oh, and broke it. And two eggs that we're going to crack. So guys, look, my wife put me up to this. I wasn't even going to do it, yeah? It was her right there. She goes, try crack the egg with your bicep. Apparently it's impossible. So I'm going to try it, yeah? If this works, I'm a bit gassed. If it doesn't, then whatever. So like that. Yeah, you put it in bit. yeah. You like put that. it there and then you... That's not gonna work, mate. Oh, it didn't Can't work. Can't see, no way. <laughs> oh, wait, let me try left. My left arm was a bigger bicep. I decided it's gonna work. Okay, let's see. Can you try it? Oh yeah, the grip is way better. I'm scared it's gonna pop everywhere. No, come on, I clean it, it's fine. Oh, it's actually not popping. <laughs> More. Wait, I'm actually surprised. I thought I'd be able to do it. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Karem. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the video. Actually, I am. Oh, <laughs> guys, she injured me. Oh. Let, me let me see, let me see your bicep. You actually tried it so hard. Look, it's all bloody. It's all red. Oh, well, then, anyways, guys. Crack your egg. <laughs> Flip in. I hate the egg now. Let oh. me try it. Let me try it. Imagine, imagine you, I can't put it in the video though. Yeah, but let me try it. Guys, I just found out my wife basically pranked me because apparently it's impossible. Let me know if, if it can actually be done. Almost injured my biceps because of that stupidness. Proper I red. Tried it as well. it actually Look at that. It's got red, it's gone. Oh man. Anyways, let's make this stupid egg wash. So the egg wash, two eggs guys, and then like a, a little drop of milk, semi-skim milk, and just mix it all up. And then you basically just put like a brush over obviously the closed ones, yeah? After that egg fail, um, egg cracking fail, 
I went on YouTube and I saw that quite a few people have done it, so I'm gonna attempt it again. So if I get it this time, then I'm happy because I'm a bit annoyed that I couldn't do it. So let's go again. Wife, leave that for a second, it's more important. Let me check in the oven and then. Alright, fine, fine. Why are you doing it without me recording it? I'm doing it again. No one's you do realize no video, no, it no, would no, never happen. No, thing, no thing. Flipping, no. Yeah, now you can clean up yourself. Oh, that's a waste of an egg. That's what I'm saying. That's what you call impatient. More egg um, wash, so I'm gonna go attempt it again because if I don't show it, you guys won't believe me. So let's do that freaking again. All right, let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> You man, for flip's sake, I'm bleeding. Thank you for putting my egg wash yolk. Oh, I worked it. That was, <laughs> that, was, that was jokes. Just chopped him in the oven. Let him, how long do you want to leave him there for, you think? Nice and golden brown. I don't know how long that is, guys. <laughs> guys, the test runs are ready. Oh. Why are you calling it a test run? These are not test runs. Well, I want to call them test runs, but oh my god, look at this. Wow, 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 wow. These look amazing. Alright, time to try it. Okay guys, let's try this because it's looking absolutely amazing. So, first bite, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion, okay? Let's go. Oh my, this is so good. Wow. Do you like it? Amazing. You guys? Don't eat with a full mouth, you fat. Mm. If you guys don't get your missus to make this, you're missing out. Hands down, 9 out of 10. Oh my god. Why not 10? Hmm? Um, 10 out of 10 is in heaven. Wait, alright guys, wait. I'm gonna show you this other one. Let's see, is it the one with cheese? I don't even know. It's not focused, too. Look at the cheese. Oi, fab. <laughs> it's obviously gonna taste the same. But yeah, guys. Please, look, try it guys, and let me know how you think. If you thought the pizza was good, this is 10 times better. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, smash that like button, button, subscribe to the channel. And guys, remember, only have this on a cheat day. Your boy's at an all-time low of my weight, I'm 91.7. I'm going to wait till I dip a bit lower, and then I'm going to do a box to show Because trust me, I'm not messing around with this diet. I've got more than a thousand calories to play with today, which is why I'm having this. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Love and peace. Take care. Bye.